I'm Mel, reporting for IndieCan. We're here today on the set of new horror film dissection at Murder Mile Studios in North London. Let's go and have a look. So we're here with Aoife and Jack. Now, you don't dress like this for fun, so you're not only helping produce the movie, but you're also in it. Tell us a bit about your role. Well, I'm producing, and as you can see, um, I've taken a part in the project. Um, basically, I look after more the scheduling, getting the right team together, um, <coughs> getting everyone on set, making sure everything's broken down and everything arrives to set. Fingers crossed it does. And I have the help of my, my brother here. Um, so we have the company together of all pictures who are producing um, dissection. How is it seeing your sister being sort of like brutally tortured and treated like absolute crap on stage? Um, it's just brilliant. <laughs> I'm just like, no, um, actually, the, uh, the makeup team that we have are absolutely spectacular and I will be honest like the first time I did see Aoife I didn't think it would affect me as as much as it did I was kind of like oh my god my sister but um yeah brotherly love but um yeah I think it's just uh it's it's cool seeing it all done but like I said we have a great makeup team behind us you know so um so they're doing a good job Here we are with Tom, the writing talent behind Dissection. Now Tom, our fans want to know the inner workings of the writer's mind. So what I want you to do, yeah, yeah. relax, and clear your mind, and answer the first thing that comes into your head. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, first things first. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Favourite childhood book? Uh, God, too many. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a master fan. Okay, uh, maybe that always makes you cry. Uh, my name is Tom. Weirdest object you've ever written on? Uh, my wife's back. <laughs> okay, and uh, best thing about your job? Uh, I get to hang out with these people all day. An uh, ultimate career day. goal? Asha, the director of this movie, Dissection. So first thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, how did you decide to get involved in this? What was the process behind getting on board? Um, while we were finishing uh, shooting our first film, uh, Crux, uh, we uh, decided to do another horror. Uh, and uh, throughout, the throughout the journey, I was thinking about ideas of uh, a different uh, horror film which has more gore and more um, sort of... Um, depth into it <laughs> and uh, at, that uh, at, that, at that time um, I started uh, formulating a synopsis mm -hmm. uh, from that synopsis um, I've collaborated with a creative team which moved us into a treatment uh, since we had a treatment we started interviewing scriptwriters, um, and we found an amazing scriptwriter which could relate to the story Um, and uh, after going through the entire scenes, uh, we started uh, going into script writing. Um, and that uh, formulated into uh, doing um, readings and creative readings and creative meetings in order to make sure that the script reaches the level of depth and intensity um, and uh, achieves uh, its ultimate goal to be a successful uh, feature film. So you mentioned that you were doing the movie Crux, that was another horror. What other movies have you done prior to this? What kind of genres? Um, we did a, a psychological uh, drama before that, uh, A Landscape of Lies. Uh, we have won an award in Las Vegas Film Festival. We are nominated in uh, Marbella. Um, and um, um, we've been in filmmaking for a number of years now, so uh, and we have a, a quite a substantial slate to go forward. So if you weren't a director, what would have been your... B plan. Um, I'm a director producer. Um, I wrote the story, so uh, 
I would probably be more, if I wasn't the director, I would be a producer. Where can our fans find out more about this? Uh, dissectionmovie.com uh, would be the um, would be the website to look at. IMBD, obviously, um, it will be up in the next uh, four weeks, um, and s um, after that, there will be a lot of uh, media coverage uh, and hopefully cinematic release in due course. Brilliant! Thank you very much, Basha.